Hey guys, today I'm in my backyard with my TI. I uh, went sailing yesterday to Lake Sonoma and I'll have a video for you on that and show you what that's like. Uh, but today's video is about just basic sail rigging. So I had somebody ask me how to, how to do the lines and so that's what I'm gonna show today. And plus maybe just a few tips, basic sailing tips. So we're gonna start here with our mast. Here I've got my mast already installed. Make sure that it clicks in. Right over here you're gonna hear a click sound so that it won't pop out. Now what you have here is what's called a furling line that's wrapped around the base here and you want to pull this all the way out. Get my line untangled there. I'm going to pull this line out all the way. I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to turn the mass counterclockwise and I'm going to wrap it around two times. Like that. Then you're going to take the end of the line and we're going to feed it through the, the cleat that's closest to the mast. So it's this one right here. You're going to pull it through. Make sure that the line stays around this part and doesn't get wrapped out around down here. And then I'm going to tie a figure eight in the end of the knot. So basically you make a loop and go around one time and then back through the hole. That's going to keep the knot from slipping through the cleat. Now here, this is the main sheet line, okay? This controls the sail and it runs through this cleat here. And now this is already set up and there's a control here so the person in the front seat can you know, control that sail or the person in the back seat. And the back line is over here. So here it is here. It has a figure eight knot tied into it because typically when we sail, um, I'm usually the one in the front seat and I'm controlling the main sail. So the main sail line runs from the front, which you can see right here. It comes down along the side of the boat on the right side if you're sitting in the boat goes all the way to the back. Of course, here's our, our control right here for the second seat. And then it goes all the way back. And it attaches right here with a pulley. And this line goes all the way up to the front when we're traveling and storing the boat. And it hooks right in front, right here. All right, so what we need to do is attach this line to the sail. Right now there's tension on this line, so in order to release that tension so we can unhook it from the hook and get it up on the, on the sail, we have to uncleat it. Make sure that, that it's uncleated right here. Now I can release this because I've got some play and I can actually stretch it all the way up so that it will be able to attach onto the sail right there. Make sure that your line on the sail here with the hook is not twisted or tangled. Make sure it's nice and straight. Unhook the sail and you want to attach it. Now all you got to do is just slide the hook right into that. Now I like to pull the slack out of the line. So I like to pull and get it tight. Now sometimes your sail will then pull out a little bit just because it's wrapping tighter around the mast. I like to get it nice and tight. And then if I get too much coming out, that's not a good thing. Um, because when you furl your sail, you want to make sure that there's no wind left in it or it can't catch any wind because otherwise you're still, you're, it's making you go forward. So in order to avoid that, you want to make sure that your sail is nice and tightly wrapped. So it's like that. That way when I furl it in, it's gonna furl in all the so way. So when you pull the sail out, when you wanna go under sail, you gotta release the cleat for the full furling line, and then you're gonna pull your sail out. So now it's out. I had an occasion once where I had about this much sail left, and it was catching wind, and if it's a windy day, that's enough to pull you forward. So 
it got a little exciting for a second, you know, because I couldn't pull it in. I was at the end of my furling line and I still had power. All right, guys, so that's uh, that's my tutorial on just some basic sail controls. I am not an expert in this boat, nor am I an expert sailor. Just want to point that out, but I do enjoy sailing it, and, you know, th these are the things that I find helpful. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions for me, something you'd like to see me make, please leave it in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. So I'll be coming out with more videos soon.